First Lieutenant Mitchell Denning. I'm from uh, 573 Cavalry from 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 82nd Airborne Division. We're doing a cold load training out here. So we are uh, practicing loading and unloading uh, Blackhawks. Um, we're doing it in full kit under a combat environment to simulate how we're actually going to do it when we get to uh, Estonia. What we're doing in, uh, in Eastern Europe is uh, Mission Calls for Response, 3rd Brigade is on it this year for the uh, 82nd. We are doing a JFE, so a uh, joint forcible entry. Um, first off, we're doing an uh, airborne assault, and then once we complete that mission, um, which will be the swiftest response part of um, the Defender Europe operation as a whole, um, we are going to do a lot of air assaulting with the Estonian military. It's part of their national training objectives. I've never worked with the Estonians before or the British, but uh, I've worked with uh, the Thailand guys before, the Thai army, basically go to their version of West Point, and they taught me a lot about living in the jungle was a big thing we did over there. I think it's a, a important show of force for our enemies to show how united we are with our teams and how much we can learn from each other. Um, that's kind of like I was saying with the Thailand thing, that's like a lot of uh, what we've, well, a lot of different militaries bring a lot of things to the table, and so there's a lot you can learn from different uh, tactics and procedures that other militaries have in how they do things. So I'm sure we can learn a lot from the British paratroopers as they do a lot of, a lot of airborne training, and then I'm sure we can learn a lot from the Estonian air assault guys, but we want to bring what we can to the table and learn from them. So, so Swiss Response will be our first major, major training event post-COVID. Um, the only people that are allowed to come into Europe with us are double vaccinated personnel. Um, COVID has put a pretty harsh, uh, a lot of harsh restrictions on training and things, but this will be our first no holds bar, like everybody is back in the fight um, exercise. So it's, it'll be, I think everybody will be a lot pretty motivated to get out there and work together and be close to close and back with all their buddies again, because um, before it was, it was, uh, there was a lot we couldn't do. And now working with other countries and things like that was a lot more restricted. And now we are no holds bar, everybody's double vaccinated and we're back, we're back to uh, being, with our, being with our allies again. Airborne is definitely still relevant. It still has like a, a job in the army because uh, you still need to be able to exit a large amount of combat power and force out into another uh, area of the world extremely quickly. And airborne is the only way that you can really do that. Um, we can load a lot more people onto a C-17 than we can a Blackhawk and we can take them a lot farther, a lot faster. Uh, and then we can exit them out and they can be a force to be reckoned with on the ground extremely quickly. And there's nothing, nothing, uh, more unbeatable than, a, than an LGOP, a little group of paratroopers out there causing trouble on the DZ. So that's really where we find our bread and butter is causing trouble for the enemy in our small groups. Both air assault and airborne missions are also extremely relevant to our IRF, our immediate response force mission um, of deploying anywhere in the world in at most 18 hours. Um, they are extremely necessary to the rapid deployment of paratroopers and uh, getting the 82nd to where they, it needs to go quickly. We gotta have to be extremely proficient at both and that's what we're doing out here today, so. I think it's important to be double vaccinated because it'll be your main chance right now as a soldier to save lives. Like, deployments are ramping down. This will probably be your chance to do the most good for your community and your family and your country right now. Like, this is how, this is how you be a soldier right now is to get double vaccinated. And as a soldier right now, um, being vaccinated or double vaccinated is the um, main way that you're going to save lives. That's how you're going to help your community, your family, and your country um, and do the most amount of good. And it, and really for no effort. I mean, all you have to do is get, get double vaccinated and get a shot in your arm. And we get plenty of those as soldiers. We get a lot of shots. So um, that would be the, sh the chance to do the most good. Um, if you're on the fence about it, I would say look to your left and your right and plenty of your peers are getting it. And so far we've had extremely little to no issue so um it would be i it's completely safe as far as all the statistics go and uh i think there's really at this point no reason not to get it 